So we are back once again with another episode of the Kill Mana Journey in 1920 Gaming in FIFA 20 Career Mode. A bit of a different video today. It's just us having a look at the end of the season, the stats, who won what leagues, who did what in Europe and all this, that and the other. So yeah, no football today, I'm afraid. Um, so if you've come to watch gameplay, this one might not be for you. Um, but it's something that we did at the end of the Warsaw career mode uh, every season and it's something I want to do here as well. It just makes it a more inclusive thing instead of just what we're doing. Just to have a look at what everyone else is doing as well. Especially as I've just mentioned uh, Warsaw because obviously the two career modes are as linked as I could possibly make them. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today, just winding down till the end of the season. A little bit of a chill after all the games are done, and a look at who's done what during the season. Um, looking back across our season, it has been way, way more successful than I ever thought that it would be. We've almost doubled the points of what Killy were getting on average in the first four seasons that I wasn't here, so yeah, we've done really well there. And surprisingly, Atletico Madrid beat Barcelona to the Champions League. Um, that's a bit of a shock. Spurs getting to the semi-finals and getting beat by the eventual winners. And uh, yeah, I didn't see that one coming. So nice one, Atletico. I suppose. Um, I'll have a look at the Europa League now. Um, and Arsenal win the Europa League against Marseille. Again, did not see that one coming. Um, wow. So Europe's quite shocking this season. The European Super Cup will obviously be Arsenal versus um, Atletico Madrid. Wow. Um, but yeah, our season has been really, really successful. For me personally, what I wanted out of this career mode, it's been too successful too quickly. I uh, touched on it in one of the videos that I did as we look at the Premier League here. And wow, City dominated the league all season long, but it's actually Liverpool who run out winners in the end. Uh, unfortunately, I already know before we scroll down here that Warsaw are probably down. <laughs> but who is going to go with them? It'll be West Brom and Norwich City that go down. Villa surviving by the skin of the teeth there. But yeah, we've been too successful too quickly. I touched on it in one of the videos. I've already um, adjusted some sliders. I'm not going to share or show what they are at the moment. When I eventually get to the level that I think's right. Where it's not impossible but still uh, competitive. Um, when I get what I'm happy with then I'm more than happy to share them but um, different games in the season are probably going to look different due to this um, I've not made any massive adjustments to it but I have made some and it's the first time that I've ever messed with sliders ever so we'll see what happens with that um, first taste of that will be in pre-season uh, you've got Birmingham here winning League 2 so yeah, um, the only real goal I set myself this season was to get to the 60 point mark we've done that, um, we're actually in Europe ourselves next season which will be exciting uh, we should have been in Europe this season if I stayed with Warsaw but obviously I didn't so PSG unsurprisingly not winning the league there same in Germany as well Bayern win it again so yeah, it's all the usual suspects, um, we've got Leverkusen, and Dortmund and RB Leipzig there, uh, making up the top four uh, in Italy, we've got Juventus winning it, Napoli following them, then Lazio and Inter, um, okay, uh, what other leagues have we got here, the Eredivisie, I'm guessing yeah, Ajax win that one, unbeaten as well, only conceding nine goals all season, that is absolutely insane by them. We've got La Liga, which I'm guessing is, yeah, Barcelona. Again, uh, insane form by them. 110 goals scored, just 15 against. Almost invincible, like, le legitimately invincible there. And we'll have a look at the MLS as well. I believe this league's still going. I might be wrong on that, but at the moment uh, it's being dominated by LA. Uh, Galaxy and LAFC first and second. 
So yeah, that's who's won what in all the other leagues. And we'll just carry on going now. Um, so yeah, I know it's not been much a, of a review. I didn't really know when I come on and started recording what I wanted to do with this this time. Um, in terms of football, we're still nowhere near where I'd like us to be performance-wise, dominating games-wise, just general passing-wise and this, that and the other. We're far, far away from that at the moment. We're just looking at top scorers and assisters now. Um, yeah, so in terms of football, we've still got a long, long way to go before we get anywhere near what I want at the minute. Um, results have been really good. We scored a lot of goals considering the quality that we've got, which is good. But our goals against column is the one that really needs work. So we've got a core A coming in next season. Hoping during uh, the off season or the close season, whatever you'd like to call it, that we can get another couple of defenders through the door as well, and that, that would be really handy. Um, but yeah, we had well, we've managed to turn a lot of the fans from against to with us at the moment. That's positive. Um, the fans are not hundred percent happy at the moment with just the one year contract being signed. So, um, they're probably hopefully happy that I'm still here, but probably would have liked more security in a longer term contract. So, next season's objectives will be to be working with the chairman probably more closely. Um, we need that investment, we need to improve the team. Uh, I want to sign one player, I've got one in mind already that I want to build the entire team around. He's not someone who's going to come in. And then a couple of seasons leave. I want him to be long-term um, captain. Um, we'll reveal who that is if and when we get him. Um, behind the scenes, we've been adding more and more players to the shortlist. But uh, yeah, we're a long way financially off that at the moment. But all in all, uh, in terms of building the club... Um, Youth Academy is still on track. The new ground has been an absolute fortress. Um, yeah, everything that we've done really has been successful behind the scenes. We've come up with a strategy of how the club can become more self-sufficient. And you saw that starting to be the case already. A lot of the older players are still here. But the ones that we've been signing have been younger. Uh, a lot younger, we're looking to coach them, develop them, get them higher in the role for all and when they're probably three years or so into the contract, move them on for a profit, get more younger players, do the same again, kind of like the Ajax model in a way, uh, so that's what we're looking to do there, but yeah, uh, again, I feel like it has been a successful season, I'm happy with the way things have gone so far was a little bit let down when we didn't get the investment we were promised from the chairman this season which is what really almost halted the negotiations when it come time to renew the contract um, but yeah all that's been ironed out now we'll see if he holds up his end at the end of this season and the start of the new one and if he does then that should improve working relations tenfold um, if he doesn't uh, I don't know where we go from there. Uh, we probably will look to move on at the end of the season. Who knows? But for now, everything's all happy. We've achieved what the board wanted. They wanted us to steady the ship, get us back mid-table. We've gone well above that. We've gone well above what I wanted as well, including uh, I was a bit worried when we lost uh, Brophy and McKenzie. But uh, it worked out for a better in the end because the players we've bought in have made an absolutely massive difference. And I'm hoping that our signings that we make can continue to be that successful again. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just, um, now we've got all that out the line off my chest, is we're just going through the team now. Players who have not really played or players who have not really felt have done that well this season are going to go on the transfer list and we'll try and move them on. Players like Bruce here as well. 
who are declining and uh, growing in age, that it makes sense that they'm going to get off the wage bill as well. Um, unfortunately, we're losing Burke here and we're not going to get anything from him because he's retired. Well, retiring at the end of this season. So we don't want that happening and we don't want players leaving on a free because the contracts are running down and this, that and the other. So we've still got a lot of work to do during the close season and the beginning of the new season. And getting everyone happy and under contract and this, that and the other. Um, we will be doing a pre-season tournament. So uh, that will probably be um, the next video maybe or... We'll see how it goes. I don't want to commit to anything yet because I do keep trying to add new things to this, and I will continue to try keep trying to keep adding new things to this series, and just keep pushing the envelope as far and far as we can with the product that we've got. And yeah, and that's gonna be the end of this one, guys. It's pretty much just been me rambling, but um, I just wanted to show you all the stats and what was going on in our little FIFA world. I hope I've got everything across that I needed to, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks again for your time, guys. Bye-bye.